round one. Do you want to play first? Oh man, so close. If I had a second land, I would keep it because I have a looter. But this is fine. I can play this on turn two, this on turn three, and four C. Yeah, no, I don't like that card. Since I have a free drop, I can ship it. It uh, increases my chance of an inf infiltrator core turn two. Black is unfortunate since I do have three cards to kill non black creatures. But we haven't drawn any so far. But now does he have Midnight Charm? Yeah. Card is not good, but. Does kill Lutril Core too. Alright, let's morph this. Since it may not even be able to attack against my opponent. Opponent needs to have islands. Alright. Trade for that. I'm gonna attack first. Hope my opponent blocks actually. Since I wanna trade it away. Since if I don't attack, my opponent could give this shadow with some madness card. Alright, for C, I don't know if I'm gonna keep an island, but. Uh, don't like erratic mutation too much. It's too low impact. Tolerance Sentinel doesn't do I'm actually gonna gamble and ship the island to the bottom and hope to draw one. Since I am playing 10 islands in my deck, 10 islands. So I'm gonna put everything except the whip spine drake on the bottom. It's a little greedy, but I think I have to be greedy to win this game. Let's see. I know it's greedy, but I'm a little bit behind a mulligan on the play, so morph could be anything. It's almost impossible to know. So I could go Augur and keep up Logic Knot. That way I could clean out two of my opponent's cards. That seems good. Now I can play Whip Spine Drake when my opponent has not a lot of cards in his hand. So I should put a stop on my upkeep. I can't. So. Anything. But I don't I think I'm gonna wait. Play an island. Now I can just regenerate so He wants to keep cards in his hand. Ooh, that card could be good. Alright. I uh, think I can attack. Keep play Lemurus with counter spell backup. So that's actually unblockable right now. And if it attacks, I'm not gonna block. Green Seeker, that's fine, obviously. <laughs> I couldn't even counter it if I wanted to, so. Alright. Still not using it. And it's not great. If the fact that it's not an island is annoying. So I guess I uh, attack for free. Keep my own land in hand since black does have a lot of discord. 
Okay, my phone gets a splash color now, but that's fine. Oh, he is playing blue. Very well. I have an auger, do I care about that? Not sure. Uh, thing is, it's annoying. It can bounce two of my five drops. So I guess I can do it. This also means I can play Whip Spine Drake next turn. I cast this for free or something. Play around uh, Simeon Spirit Guide. <laughs> She obviously doesn't have. Pawn stake is interesting, looks kind of loose. Now I can regenerate. Though I could run into another midnight show. But that's it. And I don't think my opponent playing two middle jumps, right? So now I think I'm gonna use this since I think my opponent does not have too many more lands in his hand. Or maybe he does. Since he discarded um, a spell with the green seek. Right. This time I can attack without giving minus and let's just play out my hand here now we can play all the discard spells you want this could be bad this is Vorosh the hunter oh. 5-5 Forest Walker, when it attacks or blocks, he gets a 2-2 with Forest Walk. Do not have any uh, forests. So I'm gonna attack for 6 here with Swamp Walk. And this guy could become a 5-1 to trade with Gedit. And the problem is that. I want to kind of play Corpulent Corpse, but uh, hmm. but my opponent is playing black, so he could have creatures that block. with everything since it's kind of hard for my opponent to block my morph with his morph which would be the worst case scenario if my opponent blocks the morph with Yedit I'm super happy I get to trade it off alright great <laughs> oh he gets a 2 too, but whatever oh no I, I, oh my god, I didn't order them correctly. Oh man, I forgot to put Yedit first. That sucks. That sucks. Alright, misplay. I mean, this was a misclick. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Alright. That was bad. Alright, let's just play this and hopefully... My opponent can't block. <laughs> oh man. All these loose plays. Yeah, I'm not blocking. Not blocking here. Actually. Taking nine. It 
could be that he just has um, a blocker. So I guess I block the forest creature. Oh no, a flyer. So If I block Yedit, I do not die. So give this swamp block and the problem is I think I attack with both since if my opponent has removed so I probably can't win anyway. And so this puts my opponent dead next turn. Even if he place a blocker since if I just attack with um, with the whistle lemurs I only deal free and then he's not dead next turn. Alright. Ooh. So he did have shape of parasite. Couldn't he have? Oh, well, maybe not. Well, <laughs> my opponent has some good cards, but his mana seems pretty bad. Questions if I want to do in Rider Out. Uh, he is playing three colors. I'm gonna look pretty silly. If I play Dune Rider Outlaw and he plays like <laughs> current ephemera. But maybe it's better than some of my garbage in my deck. Still think it's okay. Like this Sorko might be is bad. And it dies to midnight shot. Though I do have a lot of cards that die to midnight shot. And uh, Dune Red Outlaw would also die to Midnight Shroom. <laughs> Though I do like that I, he has a lot of non black creatures I can kill, so these cards are not as bad as I. No, I'm not gonna take that. And Sleepstream Serpent also is fine. So you can attack. Yeah, maybe I just take out Sarcomite Mirror for a Dune Rider Outlaw, and at that point I wanna replace an island with a Swamp, I think. Since having two black men on turn two could be bad, could be hard. <laughs> so that was my opponent double blocked. It was very interesting, but yeah, I, I ordered the block was wrong. All right, <laughs> there it is. Also, do have. Dark Withering to combo with Dreamscape Artist. So, looks like a keep. I'm gonna not morph this Whip's Render Egg, I don't think. First of all, I can never unmorph it, and second of all, my bond has Shaper Parasite. So, yeah. Swarms in these games. Oh, aren't ephemeral. Alright, we're gonna have to save Dark Withering for that. Ooh, for C, I like that. I'm gonna go for Dune Rider Outlaw. Since it's gonna lose a lot of value later in the game. So I might as well get it out early. Pont has all his colors. Okay, spell burst. I'm gonna attack here since that I wanna trade, so this kind of forces the issue since my opponent does not want me to have grow it, I think. Yeah. So I could keep spell burst up, looks kinda loose. I think it might be better to cost. A uh, 
Dreamscape artists. It's not too many cards I can counter anyway. My opponent does have sit on the wood readers, so I could kill that with. Uh, I could counter that for because it only has three mana. I think I attack. Not too many flash creatures that can punish me. Ash Code Bear I could counter if I have to. And let's just cast Shape Parasite. And in two turns I can kill. I could uh, get rid of the Earth Ephemeral. Let's attack with the Morph, it's pretty safe. And now I'm gonna actually use Dreamscape Artist with Dark Withering to kill my opponent's Errant Ephemeral. Could do it in upkeep, but maybe I want to spell burst something. Actually... Let's do it in my upkeep. Spellburst, that's basically it. So my opponent starts whining and bitching in the chat, but I do not have. And that is a black creature, so basically dead. Great. Oh, I hate when people start whining and bitching when they're not dead. That annoys me a lot. I'm gonna bluff attack here, I don't think my opponent can block. I don't know what I'm representing, but I don't think my opponent can block. This is bad. How do I beat Wars the Hunter? I don't know. I can't kill it with any of my removal spells since it's a black creature. My opponent can't grow wars at least, so that's a thing. Cost green mana. Alright. Well, <laughs> oh man. So, I could use Slaughter Pack. I am attacking for 6, put my opponent to 9. Could also unmorph Shaper Parasite.
put my opponents in 9 I, I need to kill the Avan Orb, the question is if I wanna Actually, I'm gonna look at my deck and see if I have an answer to the uh, wars. possibly win this game. Hmm. I have no bounce, nothing that kills black creatures. I do have erratic mutation, I guess, but <laughs> that's gonna be hard. I need to hit the six power card. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, I guess I just play Chromosoa. Unless my opponent has something, of course. Actually, this could use to pump something, so I'm actually one damage off killing my opponent. <laughs> That's fine. Let's, uh, let's not lose the game. Oh my god! Oh. That was rough. So I only need to untap here. I think that's Shaper Paris that my opponent was trying to win the game. <laughs> so he's gonna be needing something else. Oh, ha, that was great! Wow. So we both played really bad, but uh, I mean, wow. That <laughs> was just. Oh my god, that game was fun. I was I was so convinced I was dead. I thought I was just stone dead. So the last time my opponent had Shape of Parasite to win the game, he plays Shape of Parasite and unmorphs it gives plus two, minus two to his own creature, something you almost never do, but it was lethal. So that was exciting and let's see you in round two. <laughs> 